Erica. Hi, Frida. And we got tagged in the My First Time Rave Edition tag by Vibe With Aid, mm -hmm. who is one of our favorite festival YouTubers. Yep. And I would say just a top notch person. Just like one of my favorite just people. An, yeah. Just a fave overall, you know? Yeah. Um, I love her very much. Mm hmm. And so, uh, can't resist a good tag. I really can't. <laughs> and also, this is a fun one. It's like memories. So, yeah. uh, we're just gonna go through all the questions and, uh, you know, see what happens. Okay, first question. Like first and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to say that right up front. I was, we just say it at the end. Like and subscribe, you guys. We've talked subscribe. about this. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Uh, please subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up if you like it at the, at the end or something. Yeah. yeah, you can choose to decide until later yeah. if you like the but video. But subscribe but you now. Subscribe right now. Yeah. And then if you hate the video afterwards, you can unsubscribe. Dislike. But what? That's not what I was going to say. I'd rather have you dislike it than unsubscribe. Um. Well, I'm just trying to be honest with them. Like they will have the option. That's but, true. like you do always have the option. You already know if you're gonna hate us. <laughs> you probably figured it out but yeah this is enough like <laughs> if you like this you should subscribe if you yeah. like what's going on right now okay so first question first dj you ever heard of ever heard of yeah eric prides um my oh isn't he swedish i have no idea i think he is all i know is my best friend in high school ashley was very into the song call on me and yeah, uh <laughs> and she would just play it all the time we would just get really into it mm -hmm. and i had no idea it was edm or yeah. any idea that edm was anything mm -hmm. and then so the first dj i actually got into was skrillex mm -hmm. and then after i got into edm i realized like oh hey i've actually been listening to EDM for a while because i did listen you to one that. song by eric prides uh-huh um so my mom was in or is into house and house music so i didn't know what it was honestly like i hadn't realized that's what it was but now looking back i know as a kid she listened to a lot of house you were like mom music duh yeah it's like what she blasts in her speakers mm -hmm. and it's totally normal um i do know that there was definitely some eric how do you pronounce his last name in english prides prides okay uh how do you say in swedish Prince. Prince, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't really, I don't honestly don't know who she was playing. So my mom might be able to tell me later. But I also know I definitely heard some like Calvin Harris and like, you know, like mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and Skrillex. But the first DJ I really listened to was probably Nero because of you. But we'll get into my we'll get incredible into influence on your life yes. in a bit. Okay, second question. Your first show. So people define show as whatever they want. But something EDM related event, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and say that. Okay, I went to a festival in uh, the Netherlands in 2014. Show. I'd never been to an EDM show before. This was my first Ever. EDM anything I'd wanted to go for years uh-huh but so so because a little like we'll come to this but there's also gonna be your first festival so what was your first show even if you went to a festival before a show what was your first show oh so not a fest because yeah. I went to a festival way before I went to a show yeah but what was your first show oh well then it would be that little underground rave thing that we went to yeah yeah we went to just this like random ass thing that like cost ten dollars and i don't even remember I don't even where know it was <laughs> yeah it was some union like, union union okay um yeah it was a small rave there wasn't a lot of it was people a glow there. in the dark party yeah, yeah there were not a lot of people there no uh but it was fun as hell it was a lot of fun yeah, yeah i had a great time yeah um and what was your first festival so my first festival was this one in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. which I wish I could tell you what it was called, but I don't know. I was just in the Netherlands, <laughs> yeah. and then some people I knew were going to go to this festival, yeah. and there was going to be EDM there, and I was like, holy shit, I've been wanting to go to an EDM festival, like, literally Because at that forever. point, you, you had been listening to EDM? Yeah, I'd been uh -huh. listening to EDM for, like, 
five years or something. Yeah. Um, and I'd always wanted to go to festival, but I didn't know anyone who was into it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so yeah, I just happened to be in the Netherlands. Okay, so what's really funny is I was in the Netherlands anyways. I was just traveling Europe by myself. Mm -hmm. And then my mom had a friend in, uh, uh, in Rotterdam, I guess. Uh -huh. And, um, and so she was like, well, you can go visit like my friend and you'll see this whole other city and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so then he was like, yeah, come on. He was like, but I'm going to this festival with my friends uh -huh. like this weekend. And I was like, I mean, I'll come. Uh -huh. And so I went to my first, uh, EDM festival in the Netherlands with a bunch of like 45 year old Dutch guys. That's I funny. yeah, and then we didn't necessarily have the same taste in music because they were more into like the housey stuff, and I was more into the dubstep stuff. So I usually went off by myself. Yeah. Um, and then I just and I don't speak Dutch, so uh, but I was just like you know in the vibe to make friends, and so I just kept going up to people and saying, "Hi, I'm from America. Do you want to hear the one Dutch sentence I can say?" And they would say, "Yeah." And I would say, and then they would laugh, they would love me, we'd be friends so after funny. that. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I saw Flostradamus, um, but not totally sure because yeah. the whole thing was a blur. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that just traveling on your own like that is like such a like whirlwind anyway, and then to go to a festival on top of it. Yeah. Uh, my first festival, I guess. Would you count Burning Man as a festival or no? Yeah, yeah. Because then Burning Man was my first festival, yeah. but my first EDM festival was Countdown in 2018. 20, 2019. Well, yeah, it started in 2018. 20. Oh, good point. <laughs> it's good a point. New Year's festival. It's the last day of 2018. Yeah. yeah. So I don't even know what year to say, but no, that's good. You can say you started going to festivals in 2018. Makes it sound like you've been going last. Year. Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so that was my first real EDM festival, but we both went to Burning Man way before that. Yeah. But, okay. Your first person you raved with. Um, so, I mean, I, I did tell you about my mom's Dutch friends. Yeah. And then besides that so when i went to my first festival in america like actually i decided to go to the festival and planned it and everything that was what hard day it of was the dead? hard day of the dead yeah. in what year did you move to america 2015 so yeah it was 2015 yeah and um because i had just met frida but she didn't go with me yeah um and uh i went with people who i met off of meetup.com because mm. I really wanted to go to a festival and yeah. I didn't know anyone who was into that kind of thing. Um, but when I moved to LA, I learned to like, ah, you can use Meetup to like uh -huh. meet people who like similar things to you. Yeah. And I never had like amazing success with it, but it was good for just like not being completely alone to the yeah. point I wanted to die. Um, so I did find a group on Meetup and I met like three people who were going to that festival. Yeah. And, um, and so, and you actually met all of them. We went and saw Tommy Trash, like, at, at Christmas that yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I they all went. Them. Those are all people I met on Meetup. Oh. I yeah. never remembered how you met them, but I remember them. <laughs> That's how I met Yeah. I mean, the first person I read with was you, so, uh, <laughs> easy. I don't know. I mean, it depends on, I guess you would count the show. <laughs> Too. So there was other people there, but you were the only person that I knew that I first raped with. Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's uh, perfect. Because the next question is, first friend you made at a rave. So I also count shows as raves. Because, um, like, it's all... Yeah, sure, sure. I think that's fine. Um, first friend, friend I met at a rave? You made at a rave. Like, a friend that you made. Not mm -hmm. just, like, met and then... You know, like you actually make friends with someone. I guess I think we'll have the same answer, which would yeah. be Gracia and Daniel. Yeah, so we met uh, Gracia and Daniel, if you're watching this, we love you, uh, at this underground rave. Yeah, or that little one we said, yeah. that was like the little glow-in-the-dark rave. And um, 
I don't know. We just started talking and really got along. We even got a picture. We have a picture uh -huh. from this rave. I don't know. If, I know I have it somewhere, but if we can find it, yeah, um, we'll, we'll see. Um, we're still friends with them, mm -hmm. uh, and we went to a festival with them like just a couple months ago. Like, yeah. So literally, we've known them now for like four years. Like, yes. it's wild. But it also was like we met them at that first rave. Didn't talk to them for maybe two years. We definitely didn't see them for like two years. Yeah, I yeah. know I we maybe texted or something. I was like, yeah, we should meet up. And, and then we met. went to another show together. Yes. Like, for my birthday. Yeah, because when we first met them, we didn't know anyone who was into EDM at all. And we no. didn't really know even like how to find raves. Like, I don't even know how we found out when we went to. Like, I probably fucking Googled it. <laughs> I think it, it was on Facebook. <gasps> oh, shit. That makes so much sense. I was yeah. on Facebook a lot back then. Yeah. And, uh,. So we were, I mean, we were like, we were rolling, you know, and we're in the like back patio area and um, just talking to the people who are around. Yeah. And so then we meet Grecia and Daniel, who are these two like really sweet people and they're a couple and they'd already been together for like years at that point. So yeah, like, but I think this was even... also one of their first shows also, at least for Grecia, maybe not for Daniel. Okay, I don't think for Daniel, but for, uh, yeah, for sure. Because I just remember being like, "Hey, do you guys like go to a lot of raves?" Mm -hmm. And they were like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Can we come with you sometime?" Yeah, <laughs> like, I remember sure. asking that, and they were like, "Sure." <laughs> um, but yeah. that's how the friendship started, and, and blew. then yeah, yeah, and then we still see them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, wait, Grecia has definitely been in the vlog. Yeah, she Actually, they've both, been, they in the both been in the vlog. Because they were both in the escape vlog for sure, and Grecia was in your birthday vlog. This is true. Hell yeah, yeah, you've already met them. Yeah. First rave outfit. So is this like first actual rave outfit or first outfit we wore at a rave? Because that's very different. What What would you say? Or maybe we do I both. I think we should say first outfit we wore at a rave. Like, okay. <laughs> we don't know how far we've come. That's true. Um, first thing I wore at a rave was. I believe jean shorts and we had these white tank tops that we had cut ourselves for this uh, underground Because you were, it was the encouraged to wear white tank tops so you could get like glow in the dark paint on them. Like. Exactly. Yeah. So we got white tank tops just for the event and then I think I just tied a flannel around my waist. Yeah. My first rave outfit, um, I have no idea what I wore to the one in uh, the Netherlands but like I wasn't planning to do a festival or anything so I wouldn't really count that. Yeah. Um, my first rave outfit I would count was when I went to Hard Day of the Dead. Yes. And um, and I knew that this was gonna be like costumes, like Halloween -y and stuff. So I, I wore jeans, a tank top yes. that had Marilyn Monroe on it. Yeah. And some cat ears. Yes, I remember these cat ears. Yep. It was very fuzzy cute. leopard print cat ears. Yeah, it's very cute. And that was as bold as I was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it felt very bold at the time. Yeah, I was wearing cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> In public. Because I also remember- And a tank top. <laughs> you can see my whole arms, bro. <laughs> I also remember at this like um, show, we cut up our tank tops a little shorter, so it was like a crop top, and that felt we were like very... we are fashion. <laughs> <laughs> it felt very revealing, mm -hmm. and uh, that's true. You could probably now. even see maybe like a half inch of stomach skin or something. You could like, um, <laughs> cut to now, horse, you know, thong showing <laughs> moves out. Um, okay, next one is kind of funny. Uh, first rave outfit malfunction. Oh, I totally know this one. Yeah, you can so, tell. So, okay. So we went to Beyond Wonderland last year, <laughs> and this is my first time wearing like, I'd worn some rave outfits to shows before that, but this is my first time wearing an all out rave outfit to a festival. With platforms. Yeah, and I'm wearing platforms, I'm wearing these tiny lace up booty shorts, and this little top and like chain bra, and it was all from Little Black Diamond, and it was so cute. And I was yeah. even, I was doing like a modeling thing for them. So like they, this is my first time getting an outfit for free from a company, yeah. having a photo shoot to do. So I was very excited. The stakes were like a little high. Yeah. And then um, I I don't want to make myself sound unprofessional. So I will say we had a photo shoot before the festival and got great pictures. And yeah, stuff. you did your job um, before the festival and right in the beginning of it. Yes. And got your photos. And then I rolled real hard and <laughs> yeah. did some drugs and, and so then uh i go to the bathroom 
and these shorts are really really tight and they lace up on the like sides super tight. and the front yeah. yeah um but very cute they and so i need frida's help <laughs> to like tie them again um but and she then can't lace them back i up. cannot lace them back up. no so we're in the bathroom and frida is trying to lace my shorts and she's having a hell of a time and then she pulls too hard and the string totally breaks <laughs> And at that point, we're like, this uh, is beyond us. We can't do this. We have to search for outside help. Yes. So we go outside the stall to this, the line of people in the bathroom. And I just go, who here is sober and can help me tie my shorts? <laughs> and this one girl was like, I can do it. Yeah. And she helped us figure out how to tie my shorts, even though now one of the strings was way too short. And like, I don't even know how but to do it. She figured it out. She yeah. tied it and it held for the entire night. Yeah. yeah. So that's all she that She figured mattered. it out. But I almost was going to have like the whole butt out to the world <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> I definitely did not have you know backup pair of bottoms nothing uh, mm. I was not prepared for that and so shout out to that girl wherever yeah. she is she saved me lifesaver um so the only malfunction that I can remember that I've had that was like major was uh not too long ago it was for escape and so everyone was already there. I had to work and drive in later. So um, I come home, I get ready, I put on my outfit. It was uh, from Ray Wonderland. It was like a black bottom. No, it was the disco ball like outfit. It was like disco ball fabric. It was like bottom yeah. and a star oh, top. Yeah. Uh, and it's a really cool star top. You tie it around like a million times. Some of you may have seen it. It's super cute. Um, I had gotten it from a friend and bought it from a friend and then I had worn it maybe a couple times just for like undershirt something I'd never worn the top itself just uh, without anything over it and so I noticed that one of the strings are a little like like it's kind of like coming off but I was like it's fine uh, I did I was like I should bring it back up top just in case but like it's fine I'll wear it and so I drive to the event and then I have to go to pick up my uh, wristband and when I get out of my car uh, and walk towards like the hotel where I pick up my wristband I just feel something snap and I'm like oh god and then I'm about to have one whole titty my out. boob is out <laughs> like, I had to be like because I, luckily I had I think I had some sort of shirt or jacket over so I could like do this and be like nothing's going on here and then I had to go get my wristband like this and um got my wristband got back in the car and then was like i have to change tops like before i go into the event and had to try to change in my car without like flashing everyone in the parking lot but i did and i changed the top and luckily i had like another one to wear that matched as well but uh but yeah it totally snapped and like couldn't wear it anymore and my boot was totally out so your titty was out at the double tree yes <laughs> yeah. that's funny uh but yeah Okay, so next question is first light show. Oh, that would have to be probably a hard day of the dead. Yeah. Uh, I remember reading some light shows, and um, and I remember that was I, I think that was definitely my first time I was ever like introduced to the concept of like sit down and get a light show. You know, uh -huh. I'm like, and I just didn't even know that that was like a thing. And um, and then I, I definitely got some that just blew my fucking mind. Like, yeah. yeah. All right, Hannah, can I tell you your story about a first light show? Um, <laughs> so I don't can't remember if we got any light shows at that small rave like that. I, I don't remember it. I don't remember that we did, so I don't yeah. think so. Because then my first light show must have been at Countdown 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I remember getting one there. Um, Wait, no. You definitely got them at Burning Man. Oh, you're so right. You definitely got I them at definitely Burning got Man. I definitely got at Burning Man. I loved them. That's, that is true. Yes. Okay. Take it back. Scratch that. I just kind of like disregarded Burning Man, which is wrong with me. But it's it's not like <laughs> Because Burning Man is not really a festival. It's more of an experience. Yeah. And it's not EDM. But... That being said, there is EDM music at Burning Man, and we saw the glitch there are ravers yeah. there. Um, and yeah, I did get a light show there. It was, I just remember seeing like light shows and people like doing the flow art and stuff, and I was like totally mesmerized by it. And it was yeah, so cool. you were really into it. Yeah. Okay, 
Next question. First set you cried at. I really don't know. Yeah. Like, what's one that you remember? The only ones that right now I have a memory of me crying, but I'm sure I cried at some before that. I probably cried at some at EDC. Like, I remember mm. having some emotional moments for sure. Yeah. But the the two sets I can remember crying at right now uh, was at Dance Fest when I saw Said the Sky mm -hmm. and then. Uh, he played potions, and I look over, and my friend Hannah is, like, bawling her eyes out, and then that made me cry. Uh-huh. And then, actually, my second story is extremely similar. I was at Imagine, seeing uh -huh. Said the Sky again, and Dominique started bawling her eyes out, uh -huh. and then I was crying. I was also tripping on acid, and so then I was just... Yeah, crying and hugging Dominique. I love that it's always said the sky. You're like it's always said the sky, and someone else starts crying first. <laughs> um, I I don't know if this was my first, but it's the most memorable one. Um, I definitely remember. I may have cried at slander at EDC because I remember seeing all the flags, and then like I don't know. I just I, it was an emotional moment. I don't know that I cried cried. I sobbed my eyes out at the Alchemy Tour um, at Slander Nightmare, their set, um, because everything was just so good. And then I, I don't even remember what song it was that came on. I think it was, I, I'm the worst. I don't remember what the song is called, but it's like a Post Malone song, I think, mm -hmm. uh, that's like kind of sad, but they play it a lot. Most DJs like remix it. Um, and I bawled my eyes out. And I remember that because it was such a like beautiful moment and it was like mm. down in Long Beach, just really beautiful and the sun was setting and like it was all it was really so beautiful. pretty. And I don't know, slander just hits me in the feels because yeah, both times I know it's been slander, yeah. I've been like... <sighs> okay, the most I've seen you cry, I said that I remember, yeah. was when we were at the rail for Excision Back to Back Millennium and you yeah. cried so much that I was really worried you were like genuinely really upset. Like, oh yeah, I was like, are you okay? You know, like yeah. I didn't know if it was just because of the music like. yeah um <laughs> elenium and excision made me and we were at the fucking rail ball. so i was like very very intense it was so intense yeah. but yeah I, I cried for that for sure um first candy trade so i guess anything you remember giving or receiving or anything um so the first one that i remember is when we went to that little rave mm -hmm. the glow in the dark one and there was this guy named Michael, and I he was like too. 40, you know? So he yeah. was like 20 years older than everybody else, yeah. but just like totally in the spirit of things. Yeah. And he had a candy bracelet that had a big like baby rattle on it, and he gave it to me. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know that that was a thing, so the fact that he would have like made this thing, uh -huh. and it clearly had like time and like attention put into it, and he just gave it to me. Yeah. Um, like it blew my mind and I, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I also remember receiving candy at that event from him. I don't know if he was the one because I remember we have this candy with a UFO on it that opens up mm -hmm. and that I believe is from that show. Oh. Um, and I don't know if it was him or someone else that gave it to us Shh. or to me and I just remember I got it and I thought it was weird because it was very heavy and hard to wear and so I remember yeah. it for that reason but now it's super cool because we've had it for so many years yeah and we only this year realized that it opens up and has a secret compartment <laughs> I thought it was just a heavy like big thing with on a bracelet and I was like that's annoying we're stupid but like no you can like hide stuff in it <laughs> yeah but same I didn't realize at the time of that show that that was like I mean, I just didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know that people yeah. give each other bracelets. So the fact that someone would just give me one, I didn't want to give back or anything. Yeah. Uh, it was just like, I don't know, I, just, I was so nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, it really stood out to me a lot, for sure. This is uh, the last question. Mm -hmm. So. Oliver, for, you want to come be in the video for the last question? Yeah. Since you're just standing there being just, cute and only we can see you. Yeah. Okay. So. First moment you fell in love with the rave culture? Hmm. Um, 
I would say when I went to the Hard Day of the Dead show with the people that I met from meetup.com mm -hmm. and then I met so many other people mm -hmm. at that festival and it was two days then mm -hmm. and people who gave me their phone number and said, let's hang out. Yeah. And it was so easy to make friends and I'd never been to anything in my life where it was that easy to make friends. Yeah. Um, and so like I already, I'd known for years that I loved EDM. Yeah. Uh, but um, that was, I would say, my first experience where I was like, I love this culture and these people and I want to be around these people all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I gotta say, which um i would say it started at burning man yeah because it's a similar vibe to festivals it's like some of the people that go to burning man also like edm and going to shows so like you kind of it's kind of an overlap they and flew my ass at burning man so like yeah exactly so um i think that was the like introduction to me being like this is incredible and like these people are so incredible and nice yeah um but it really like solidified when we went to countdown uh last year because that was so we've really only been going to festivals consistently in for the past year mm -hmm. um and our first real festival in california that was edm was countdown and um it was just like walking into the festival area and we walked up to the first set we ever saw which was Shay. Yeah. And it was just like such incredible energy just walking up to the it stage. It was 4 p.m. She was on at 4. Yeah. And we raged so hard at 4 p.m. And everyone yeah. else there was also just down to rage so hard at 4 yeah. p.m. And I just like felt at home. And I was like, this is, this is it. And yeah. I have the same feeling every time I walk into a festival. Can we add our own question? I have one yeah, more yeah. that I want to really see. add, which would be like, what was the first song that made you like really fall in love with EDM? First song. <sighs> That's so tough. I mean, Do you remember like the first EDM song you ever like got really <laughs> obsessed with? Um, I mean, there were a lot of Nero songs that I was like, just kept listening to over and over again. Um, and the glitch mob for sure, but there was like, I don't, I honestly don't remember which, which song specifically, but I do remember listening to Nero a lot and being like, this is so good. Like, I yeah. don't know how, like that music could be this good. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't know that I have a song that I can like point out Yeah. in particular. Okay, I just wanted to do this because I have one song that like started me on my EDM journey. It's such a, like a huge, like, mm -hmm. uh, it's such a huge impetus for like everything I've done in EDM. Yeah. And it was 2010, mm -hmm. um, Equinox First of the Year by Skrillex. Yeah. My brother sent it to me. Yeah. And he, and he sent me the video and he was like, you have to watch this. Okay. And I watched the video and listened to the song and I was so obsessed with it that I just I just watched that video like fucking constantly. Yeah. And yeah, like thousands of times probably. And I and that was my first like introduction to dubstep and that's when I was like, dubstep is the most amazing thing that has ever been invented. Yeah. Like, I was like, straight up, dubstep never existed before in my life, and now it does, and yeah. my life has changed. And, <laughs> like, I love this so much. And then it took fucking five years for me to meet a single other person who liked it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, like... That song was everything to me. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are all the questions in the, our first time rave edition. And uh, do you want to just sit down and do this with us? <laughs> you sit down in the middle. Here, sit here. So we okay. need to we need to tag a couple other people. Who, yeah. So we want to because you know Aid, pass along the tag. Yeah, Aid uh, tagged us in this, and we want to keep it keep it going. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna tag our friends Nico and Frankie, who just started their channel. They yes. are 
a couple. They are adorable. Um, and they, yeah, they just started their like rave channel. Yeah. If you are interested in like guys like rave fashion, then they are they absolutely are like who you should be looking at. Yeah. And so we tag you. Yes. <laughs> and we'd also want to tag our friend Jemmy. Uh, who we met pretty early on doing this and she's just and she's definitely been on the channel several times you guys She has been on the channel. Her. We've done some tutorials with her. Mm -hmm. You guys have met her in our countdown vlog She was in it for sure. Yeah, and um, nocturnal one and nocturnal uh, But yeah, she's just an incredible person and, and our really, collab video that we did with that and Alice in Wonderland theme Yeah, that's a look. Yeah, she's just uh, one of our best and now friends. we want to hear about all your first times Jamie. Yeah, Please tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every Friday. Uh, and you follow social media at Erica and Frida. We're real Erica and Frida on TikTok. Uh, you can follow our individual accounts. Erica is at Erica Heidewald on all social media. Oliver doesn't have social media. He's <laughs> dog. <laughs> and uh, you can follow me at Hey It's Frida, Hey with a J because I'm Swedish. And we love you guys, right? Yes. <laughs>